In this video, we're going to have another plugin for Kong API Gateway, which is file logging, and we'll see how to mount that file to outside so we can back up, so we can read and anything that we want to do on it. So stick with me to find out more. What's up guys, medium guy here. So in this video, we're going to see how to enable the file logging plugin and also mounting the file to the outside so we can access the file. We can manipulate it as ever we want. So without any delay, let's get down to work. So this plugin will append the request and response data in a JSON format to a log file. So as a note, this plugin uses blocking I.O. which could affect performance when writing to physical files on slow disks. So just remember to keep that in mind and do your configuration depending on your resources. So as always, I'll move down to find the configuration to enable the plugin globally. So here we have the sample plugin configuration. So if I move a little bit down, I can see the available parameters that I can pass to this plugin. As always, we have the service, the route, the consumer, and I'll skip them so because I want to enable the plugin globally. Here we have the path, which is the path of the output file. The plugin creates the log file if it doesn't exist. So just keep that in mind. And the thing that is important, make sure the Kong has right permission to that file. If ever the Kong does not have any permission to write to that file, it will skip that. So we wouldn't be having the logs outputted to the file. So we have the reopen configuration, which determines whether the log file is closed and reopened on every request. If the file is not reopened and has been removed, the plugin keeps writing to a stale file descriptor and hence loses information. So both setting this to true and false has their own pros and cons. Like for example, if we set this to false, which will not reopen the file, we will have better performance, but also will have this problem. And if we set this to true, will surely have performance issues, will have a lot more latency. So depending on your resources, depending on your situation, you can choose to set this to true or false. And also we have a custom fields by Lua. So as we know, the core of the Kong API gateway is written in Lua language and using this configuration, which is an optional configuration, we can set custom fields if we don't have it by default in the default logging system. It might have its own uses, its own specific uses, so we won't be dealing with that in this video. So I'll just go ahead and copy the sample configuration. And as always, I have an echo server running on my machine on a random port. So whatever request I make to it, it'll just go ahead and echo it back to me. So moving to the configuration, in here I have my configuration file, which I pass to the Kong gateway as the declarative mode deployed as a Docker container. And in here I have my Docker compose file, which I have my configuration to set up and run my Kong gateway. So I'll put the link to my repository down below so you can access all these files. Actually, these are all files for all my videos in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'll move to the configuration file in here. In the plugins section, I'm going to paste the configuration that I just copied. I'm going to remove the slash temp from here. So the file will be created at the root path. So I'll save my file. I'll switch to the terminal in here. I'll hit LS. I'll see that I am in the exact same directory that I have my configuration and Docker compose file. So all I need, as you know, I have to say Docker compose up dash D 
So I'll pass the dash D to run it in a detached mode. So I will be able to do things after that. So I'll hit LS, I'll hit Docker, exec, dash it. I'll provide my container name and I'll have a bash at the end. So I am inside the container, which is running the Kong gateway. So if I hit LS in here, I see that there are no files. So I'll move to the Chrome. I'll try to make a request. So the response is coming back from the echo server that I'm running in my machine. So I'll move back in here. I'll hit LS again. So as we can see, it cannot create the file because it has no write permission to it. So because I'm running my container as a root user and inside the container we have the Kong user and it cannot create that file because it does not have enough access. So the thing that I'm going to do is I'll exit the container execution in here. I'll hit LS. I'll try to make a directory called logs. I'll cd into the logs directory. In here, I'll say touch file.log. In here, I see that I have my file, which is going to be mounted inside the container. So the logs will be outputted to this file. So if I hit ls-la, so in here, I see that my file only has write access for the owner so if i mount this file inside the container again the Kong gateway won't be able to write to it so to test that i'm going to switch to the docker compose file in here i'll add another entry to the volumes so i'll say it's dot slash logs slash file dot log i'll mount it to the slash file Dot log. So I'll save my file. I'll try to say docker compose up again. So it is recreating the con gateway. Again, I'll switch to the Chrome. I'll hit refresh. In the logs, I should see that the Kong does not have enough permission to write to the log file. And also this time I'll hit control Z. I'll try to exec the container again and this time if I hit ls in here I see that I have the file log in the root path but again we have the exact same problem the exact same permission problem so I'll exit the container I'll hit ls I'll say chmod 777 and I'll say file.log. If I hit ls-la, this time I see that the owner and the group and the other users has the access to also write, read, and execute this file. So this is not really a critical file. It's no problem to do this. But depending on your situation, you can manipulate the chmod number. So this time I'll say docker compose down to remove my docker container. Again, I'll say docker compose up dash D. So my container is running. I'll hit LS. I have my file.log in here and also inside this directory. I can open the same file.log which is over here and if I move to the Chrome I'll hit refresh this time I see that the log has been outputted and successfully written to this file so this plugin is working correctly if I make more requests I'll see that the logs are being appended to this file and also if I check the docker logs for the Kong gateway. This time I won't be seeing the permission denied error. And as a result, I can see the logs are being written to the log file. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, just go ahead and ask me in the comment section. I'll put all the links to down below so you can access easily to all the files and all the 
configurations just don't forget to watch my previous videos on this playlist i have cool things cool stuff enabled using the Kong gateway and please do like and subscribe and with that i'll see you in the next videos